kawawa para maging kita. Pressure is real. Basta nag-America lang mayaman ka na. So I am going to meet up with Mads. Carla Humphreys, kung hindi kayo familiar, we're gonna go to Santa Monica Beach and we're just gonna hang out and catch up. So, I'll see you guys later. We're in California, Los Angeles. <laughs> <With the pants. laughs> Look at that traffic, Philippine traffic, bayan. <laughs> Honestly, it's just the same. Buti na lang we were able to experience at sa traffic, so hindi na siya Wala lang to sa atin. Uh -oh. Hello! Give me a tour! So where are we right now? Sensationalize or we put in a pedestal yung mga victim. You have to be kawawa para maging bida. Sa so mga yes. yes. Parang I always found that unhealthy. Or pag ka, ay, hindi ma ng tao yan because yeah. you have to be the kind one. But you know, <laughs> you can still be kind and strong. Yes. Uh -huh. And I think that's that's for me was the thing na parang parang may mali kasi dapat we should encourage women to be strong and that's one thing that I learned moving here na I figured lahat ng kaibigan ko nagpapakasal mm -hmm. nagkaka baby and I had no Are one you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was nakaingit as in you know everyone is happy and then it's beautiful to see two human beings make another human being Aww. tapos biglang that human being has a personality like seeing like <laughs> Dalia Tilan, Anika is like she's so you. <laughs> she's so you. And I was just saying, it's like how do I make it in TikTok if I don't have a cute baby and I don't have a dog, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I've been out here for so long. The Isipko, like, should I find a boyfriend? It will yeah. come around. The one thing I can tell you is, we'll come up with it. <laughs> Tell me more, tell me more. I know, I'm just saying that. Enjoy that. Prioritizing yourself. Because when you're in a relationship, talagang you give 80 to 100% of yourself to that person. And sometimes, nalulos ka di ba? <laughs> so do you think you're able to get to know yourself as a mother though? Like what you're capable of? And... Oh yeah, your motherhood is so different from my relationship as a wife. Your motherhood talaga, learning along the way. So nag-iba talaga ako since I gave birth to Anita. Talaga, every little detail about her, you know, you, every day of my life as soon as I wake up before Oh, I'm gonna make my coffee. How am I gonna run my day? Now it's like, oh, what is she gonna eat for breakfast? Oh, does she have her blanket for school? I get upset when she doesn't eat her lunch at school. <laughs> she comes home with her lunchbox. Punupa. How can I eat? My strawberries. Your fruits. Your love. Yeah, actually, I went back to the Philippines and then I went to an event. That was a reporter, the first thing they asked me. So, Ano na? Kailan ka na ikakasal? Kasal na lahat? And then I, I literally hindi ako nakamagpigil. Sabi ko, you know what? I don't 
place my value on the fact that I have a timeline for things to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't mean that I, I'm not in a relationship, I don't have kids, I'm not settled down, that I'm behind on life. Mm -hmm. I think like everyone has their own journey and I'm really rediscovering myself. But yes. since I moved here, like from being Carla Humphreys, who I, who I, I love being Carla Humphreys and I really appreciate the life I lived as Carla Humphreys, but I always wondered who Madeline Humphreys because mm -hmm. I was born as Madeline and then when I was discovered, I was born Mr. M. I was born as Carla. So I was born as Carla. And we don't have to be able 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 to be so that's true. why like when you hit your 30s you're just like oh gosh yeah. you know I'm a new woman like this is me because you are learning and like you said you're rediscovering yourself like you're more capable of saying no to things that you know don't serve you, you before how do you say yes just yeah. to settle or just to please other people mm -hmm. when you're in your 30s you don't give a I'm just so happy we're in the space <laughs> together. Oh. I've been quarantined alone <laughs> this whole pandemic. So, oh no. ikaw yung ka una -una ka. Philippine friend of mine that's visited. It's been tough. I think it's beautiful how everyone's so much more honest about their mental health these days. Yes. Mahirap talaga. You'll cry a lot. And I moved here alone, no family, no support system. Thank God I had the Basco family who kind yeah. of like adopted me. I'm sure you discovered so much during the pandemic you were telling me. Ano yes, I just have one thing also, like sadin kasi in Filipino culture. Parang when someone says they're depressed or whatever, they don't acknowledge that. And honestly, you have to. Kasi sadin parang, oh malungkot ka lang, oh ka lang yan, tomorrow you'll be fine. Or umiyak ka lang. Kung mm siya -mm. mag-isip, masyado ka nag-iisip eh. It's like, depression is real. Like for yes. people, they neglect it and they don't accept it. Because for them, parang embarrassment yun when you are actually feeling those emotions. So when someone tells you, you have to get to know them, you have to hear their stories. Because sometimes kung yung anak mo, they come to you, it means that they're asking for help. Mm -hmm. You have to acknowledge to help them out. Because if not, they will rely on other yeah. things. And, and when you're suppressed, sometimes that's when you end up doing toxic things or mm -hmm. you poison your life because you don't release your mom. Or you can talk to anybody. Yes. You feel like, oh, well, my mom or my dad or my sister, they don't even listen to me. They think, wala lang po. it's uh -huh. just in my head. Speaking of uh -huh. expressing ourselves, I was telling Troy, my husband, like, that's what happened to me. Like, it was hard. And even before the pandemic, it was already rough for me for the whole year or two. First, having a child on its own, Without any family members, Mahirab. Like yeah. so, I didn't know how to figure it out. Did your mom fly for you? No, I didn't invite anybody. Like it was just me. I gave birth. It was me and Troy and his parents, but his parents lived three hours away from us. Ah, I had epidural, but yes, she didn't get to express her anything. But yeah, I pushed her. <laughs> but yeah, um, in you here, the parang wala pa lang ng support here, and then the transition to find. You know, like becoming a stay-at-home mom, finding myself. Not, not postpartum. I had postpartum depression. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because six I'm months. I'm so intrigued. I didn't know because you won't know kung ano ba ang postpartum depression because nobody ever had that or nobody ever talks about it. You know, even after giving birth, both moms talk about the beauty. Oh my gosh, breastfeed this and that. But in reality, people should really talk about what goes on. Like what happens after giving birth, what you really feel like you're... Now, siguro mas open na yung mga tao because more women are actually you know sharing, sharing their stories. Their stories. Um, but yeah, for me, talagang like sometimes when we breastfeed the whole and you think that oh you're giving her all the nutrients, you're taking her baby, and then all of a sudden, miya ako parang breastfeeding, and then nakatunalala ako next thing you know like breakdown. What is going on? Or like there are days na I'll tell Troy like just feed the baby. I don't want to get out of bed. And then there will be days na sobrang high and I'm really really happy, this and that. And then at night time, parang I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. So pa iba iba talaga yung moods. And yun nga, like you're there, you see your child, you're happy. But at the same time, parang hindi mo alam yung feeling deep down. 
I mean, I talked them to someone. I talked to my doctor as well, to my OB, and she's like, "We're here for support." And I guess you know, for me, it was harder because of the transition itself, not just giving birth, but like moving away from you know my comfort zone. Yeah. I was able to make it. Can I have a shot? I haven't shared this yet, and actually, I'm I'm happy that. To be on on your channel because I've been wanting to actually tell my story for so long, and I've been filming so much of it. But since I had so much going on, I didn't have the courage to put something out. And also, I'm not skilled at editing, so I haven't really put a lot out. But I'm planning Flash to. Flash cloud. I want an edit shot. Yes. Um, so editing. <laughs> yes, I. It, it was tough. It was really tough because I hadn't really planned on moving to the United States. I was here for a week and my friend had told me like, you should totally come to LA. And I came here thinking, tingnan ko nga if I can live it, live here. Yeah. Like, I didn't have any big ideas that I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I was like, tingnan ko nga, kasi I feel Try like... for yourself. Yeah, everyone in my life is a in a different stage already and I just felt like I needed to search for myself in another place and I felt like LA was calling me. Mm -hmm. I came out here and the pandemic hit. Mm. When the pandemic hit, so toto alang, I was so overwhelmed because I was in a new country. I had no family in, no in Los Angeles. My, my only friend was nice enough to introduce me to his family, Dante Basco. And his family took me in during the pandemic, but I was alone mentally. Like mentally, I was in the Philippines, thinking of the worst, worrying about my family. Didn't know if I should go back mm -hmm. or stay here. I had to figure out how to take care of myself. Um, I didn't have a car. I don't have a car t until now, and I would just figure out how to get around. I would walk at least ten miles a day. We were Ma malayo ang ten miles, oh. guys. <laughs> if you ten know, miles it's like tw twenty kilometers. You're a parang like marathon, oh. <laughs> and it's true. And people think, basta nag America lang mayaman ka na. No, no. actually, you oh. really struggle and hustle. If you experience living here na hindi, ka, and then oh there will be other people say, then just find the job. I really want to stay in the creative field, but also you have to be able to support yourself day to day and until now everything that i spend i mm -hmm. still convert it to pesos and i'm like wait don't do that now i'm going to eat fruit for 500 pesos like <laughs> why <laughs> why girl apalinas ako ng nails for what four thousand i miss all my sponsors a hair shop and posh nails and ivy but you know what I realize my resilience. I realize yes. sometimes because the beautiful thing about the Philippines is you never feel alone. Kahit you're around strangers, di ka matugugutom. You'll always have people ask you how you are. Here talaga, it's like every man for themselves because it's hard enough to support yourself. So if you mm -hmm. find good enough people who will give a helping hand, then you're very lucky. But it's not always the case. Yes, and you I agree. really grow up here. I was ashamed that I didn't know how to wash my clothes properly. I didn't know how to, like little things that, I didn't know how to clean the bathroom. Like th like little things like that, na every person should know, every mm -hmm. adult should know. I was so addicted to massages. And then now it's like... Here it's like $120 per massage or $80. I still <laughs> think 7,000 pesos, 5,000 pesos. Masaya, 250 lang yan sa atin. Pupunta pa sa bahay mo. <laughs> diba? But yeah, I mean, it's been a journey, but you mature a lot and also there's a lot to gain because Yes, you know, there's a lot of freedom to the fact that you know you can take care of yourself Yeah, it teaches you talaga a lot and exactly that's why for me like if you have kids You send them to America just yeah. to grow like that so people so here are like 16 17 years old They're already working True. like they have summer jobs it teaches them how yeah. to make money for themselves. Sa atin hanggang college na sa bahay pa. <laughs> we're lucky and blessed yeah, because we we're able to like, you know, our parents are able to help us, you know, save money for our future. Mm -hmm. 
And also like if you send your kids to work like in a fast food and stuff like that, they'll respect people who work in those industries and don't they won't act like senorito again because they know the hardship mm -hmm. of working um, a service like job. A, for like a minimum wage yeah. type of thing. Yes. Girl. So important. I mean, I'm so happy that I can share this experience with you because I know you went through that. You were. I remember when you went off to culinary school and then, <laughs> and then you came back married. <laughs> Wala la, culinary school tapos. But kung ako culinary, I want a restaurant. You can still own a restaurant. I want to train, and then I came back. I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> and I'm leaving. It just happened so fast. <laughs> but you know what? Despite it happening fast, I think we should be proud that we came here on our own. And yeah, you know, we're living a good life. You have a beautiful family. You have a beautiful daughter. Thank you. Honestly, I feel like. Life is just beginning for me and I'm living my life as Madeline Humphreys and I'm really honoring the time that is given to me to get to know myself in a different environment yes. <laughs> and figure out what I want. Because I think like majority of the time in the Philippines, Mashado Kong Mahiya in and I would always value other people's opinion over my own. I was so uncertain of me knowing what's right for me and I think being out here and having no one to ask and no one to lean on I had to make decisions for myself and I'm happy to say that I'm able to be in a good place and provide for myself and despite everything happening I've been safe I kept myself safe and strong mm -hmm. mentally physically Cheers to that! Oh, yes. Cheers to growth! To Cheers strong to growth. women! Strong growing. women! Whether in a family or whether on their own. Yeah, strong women. It doesn't mean that I need my partner or my anak. You just do you, girl. You go, girl. You just do you. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue this vlog and I'll have more special guests next time. Bye, guys! Cheers.